Good Monday morning. You know, one of the things that I hear most about this time of year is the frustration, the anger, the real con genuine concern over identity theft when it comes to tax returns or filing your taxes. So we're going to spend the next couple of weeks here talking about this. So here's the first thing you need to know. If you go to file your taxes and your return, your electronic return gets rejected, that means that somebody else has filed with your name and number. You got to let the IRS know about that. What you're going to want to do is when you do file, and you're probably going to have to file a paper return, you're going to need Form 14039. What that is is an ID theft affidavit. You're going to want to send that with your regular tax return, but you're going to want to get in touch with the IRS. Should you receive a letter from the IRS asking to verify a return in your name with your social security number, that's an actual letter from the IRS. And what they're wanting to do is to make sure that everything is cool and verify whether there's been any ID theft. If there is, you can and work out with them what the deal is. But if you didn't file, you're definitely going to want to follow the instructions on that letter. And then finally, if you receive income information at tax time from an unknown employer, well, that's a serious red flag because it means someone else is using your name and social security number and they may or may not have filed. Either way, you got to let the IRS know. Now, we're going to send you all the information you need to know about this. Put it on my page, the Money Monday page, Maloney Money Monday page on clickondetroit.com where you can find all of the links you're going to need if you in fact have these problems. Have a good Monday.